Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and uh, we're going to do a financial analysis of a building that sold in Ottawa in the month of February. And this is what we call a commercial building uh, because it's got five or more units in it. And uh, if you enjoy getting uh, these analysis done uh, for you every month, hit the notification bell, subscription button, and we'll send them out to you every 30 days. Now, getting right into it, we had a building located in central Ottawa. It had five units in it, and it was listed for $1,299,000 sold for $1,230,000 and this building had a scheduled rental income of 90000 and change and it had an effective rental income of 87700 the operating expenses, as stated in MLS, were $23,000. The total operating expenses uh, in, in the building, when we add in uh, management and uh, maintenance on, on the uh, property, was about $32,000. And that gives us a net, sorry, a net operating income of $55,500. So let's translate that and see what that means. So that gives us a very healthy cap rate of 4.5%. And again, in recent years, we are more accustomed to looking at something in the low threes. So that's going to tell us an interesting story. The operating expense ratios really weren't or aren't bad here. They're almost 37%. Um, so that's very acceptable. It sold for 14 times the gross or 22 times the net. Now, if you want to have a positive cash flow. This building cash flowed positive with only a 37% down payment. We haven't seen a lot of that in the last, I don't know, four years, five years. But um, anyhow, 37% uh, is your down payment and that's about $455,000. Gives you a mortgage. By the way, we calculated this with a mortgage rate of 5.2%. So the total mortgage was, call it $775,000. And that gives us an ADS that's annual debt service, uh, uh, basically the, the total mortgage over the entire year. Uh, that is $55,000. And the bottom line is that has a positive cash flow of $361. Now I know that's not much, but we're calculating this to see what down payments required to get that positive cash flow. And uh, in terms of an ROI, that gives us 0.08%. So thank you for watching.